I don't. Well, we, me and my wife, we lost everything in our house. Uh, and but when we got displaced, we were living in a tra living in a in a tent on top of the hill. My father-in-law gave us his uh, his home. We stayed in there, and then we went to the elders lodge for a bit. And then we went over here to these Adco trailers and then to the temporary trailers. And this is where we're at right now. From the start, there was like people were getting there's favoritism, nepotism. You've seen it all over. People digging into funds that weren't theirs. Evacu uh, non evacuees getting evacuee money. People getting help when they didn't even need help. People, people getting forgotten. Elders getting displaced. The houses, like everybody lost their houses. And everybody wanted to move back to their, where they grew up. And everybody, we got the latest time. The provincial government told us we're allowed anywhere in Suxiga and two telephone poles. So our hopes all went up right there. We're, uh, we're in the temporary trailers right now, and we don't know what's going to happen next. They're just, they forgot about us. We are the forgotten people. And I'm, I'm their voice, I guess. And what I want them to do is just to listen to us, to hear what we have to say, because we have more, this is our community. They don't know what's going on in our communities. They make decisions that without our, our consult, and this is why we came down to this, because they had no input on us. We know our communities better than they do. Well, I needed answers. And people kept, like, you know how gossip goes around. Gossip, this, gossip. And I heard this construction was already going on. And then somebody told me that it was for us. And we never heard nothing. So I went around, started that petition. I wanted the books to be open because of the donation money. And I asked for the locations of our houses because they knew it and we didn't. So I went around. And all the, the signatures I got, the, the heart, the hearts, it was sad for me, it was hurtful to see people going through it. To, to them, it's a piece of paper. To me, a petition, each signature is a story to tell. Each and every people that are there on that list, they, their sorrows, their homesickness, their despair, their hopelessness, all on that paper. And to them, it's just a piece of paper. But to me, it means a lot more. Well, at the last meeting, there's a couple of um, elders that told me, give them a heads up. So yesterday at 2 o'clock, I went over there and I told them, We're tell your workers not to come in tomorrow. We're shutting you down. And then the contractor told me, for what? And I told him, you never got our approval. And he told me, yes, we did. And I said, well, from whom? He said, from the company. He said, we're subcontracting off the company. And I said, no, you didn't. We're shutting you down tomorrow. I'm putting up a roadblock tomorrow. Two hours later, they packed up and left. Right now, it's getting demolished. I just came from there, and there's no roof, no siding. No drywall, no insulation, and that's how far they are right now. Everybody's behind it. I haven't heard no negative from anybody. If they really, they were voted in for us, each and every one of them. There's even evacuees that voted, got voted in saying their platform was, I'll be your voice in this council. If they really cared about the people, they would be standing in my shoes right now. The chief would be right here, standing with his people. The councillors would be here, standing with the people. 